Welcome back. There's an all new series you don't want to miss. It's called Welcome to Earth, an incredible exploration show that stars Will Smith. And today joining us are two individuals that participate in that show, Diva Aman and Albert Lynn, a marine biologist and an engineer. We're so excited to have them both with us today. Diva, let's start with you. Tell me more about this incredible show. just treat for the senses. It's going to be like a show you've never seen before, showcasing, you know, the diversity of life on this planet that just takes our breath away, all of the connections we have, and ultimately places that we still know so little about. And you got Will Smith in there too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have to, I have to, yeah. I, when I first saw the description of the show, I thought, wow, how lucky that the two of you get to be with Will Smith. But then I watched the show and I thought just the opposite. How lucky that Will Smith is to be able to have two incredible, so well-researched, educated, knowledgeable individuals showing him around the world. It's so much fun. And Albert, tell me a little bit about the role that you play on this show. Well, my episode is called the uh, speed of life. And so we traveled to Namibia and we're, you know, we're, we're basically going in this full visceral adventure across sand dunes, some of the world's largest sand dunes. We repel 400 feet into a cave and then we have to scuba dive down into the depths of this cave that go into the darkness I and mean, another 400 feet or so. Uh, we, we travel across one of the most crocodile infested rivers via a rope that we got across with a little drone <laughs> and the whole time we're we're using technology to try to see what's beyond the visible to see what's just past our perception and then get these kind of these like aha moments repeatedly about how fast things are moving or how slow things are moving all around us all the time and really truly the, the motion of the planet at this, this hyper scale I, you know, to me, it was one of those things where even the adventure itself, even though I was planning it and our team was planning it, it, it revealed things that I could have never expected in a way that makes you feel like you're seeing the best of National Geographic and Disney Plus. I mean, really, it is the best in terms of cinematography that I think I've ever seen in my entire life. And we're with Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> and we put it in the yeah. Oh, it's so incredibly filmed, just gorgeous. You really feel like you're there, that you're traveling the world and you're learning right along with all of you. Diva, tell me more about the episodes that you participated in. Yeah, so my main episode is called Descent into Darkness. And Will and I went a kilometer deep in the Bahamas to a part of the planet where no one has been before. And I mean, it's a wild ride. You know, you'll see Phil, Will having some really visceral reactions to that experience. He's not comfortable in the ocean, much less ocean where you're going, where if something happens, no one is coming to help you. I think many of us can relate to the reactions that Will has in the show. He's learning right along with the viewers. And Albert, in one of your episodes, the one you just mentioned, you're driving along the sand dunes. And I was actually terrified. Did it appear, was that how it was in real life being there? It looked absolutely really scary <laughs> driving up and yeah, down those mountains of dunes. Yeah, Christina, I was terrified too, to be honest with you, because <laughs> Will was the one driving. And we had, you know, we had a couple of days to get used to those dunes and in that few days he and i both crashed a couple of the <laughs> <laughs> i almost drove on right into the ocean into the skeleton coast uh, and then he ended up you know taking a smaller drop off of one of the dunes that you just you almost you don't see them drop away and then all of a sudden the next thing you know you're you know you're just like in this in this pit uh you know these things are massive we were they're actually literally mountains because they're so large. They're the largest sand dunes in the world. But I think one of the, I gotta say, one of the coolest experiences was just hanging out with one of your childhood heroes, driving across those dunes. We got to spend so much time just talking about life and connecting on a very personal human level. And then having this adventure where mm -hmm. it felt like you were on a journey camping out with your buddy. And there was a moment where I remember I showed up once where I forgot to shave in the morning and he's, you know, he's handing me his razor and then we're picking the fuzz out of each other's hair in the back of the truck at dawn before we're going to go and venture off into the nothing. And, you know, the whole time we don't even realize that there's cameras there because 
it was almost like they made the whole, you know, the whole vehicle a camera set, but it was invisible. Uh, and you know, it, everything melted away. It just felt like, it felt like we were, we were having the time of our lives. And that's really what, what happened. And I think that's what you feel when you watch a show. And Diva, is that similar to your experiences? There are also some terrifying moments, but beautiful ones as well. So did you feel the same way as Albert, that you were learning and doing this together in a really beautiful way? Absolutely. I mean, with Will, it felt like we were going through this real range of emotions together from him being terrified of the ocean, me being terrified of being in a sub with a celebrity who I'm taking into the ocean, you know, then overcoming that and really experiencing the awe of the deep sea, the beauty of the deep sea, seeing all this incredible life, seeing this incredible firework display. And, you know, some of the other shoots that I was lucky to be part of, that was really when this whole awe-inspiring aspect really went up a whole nother notch. There's one shoot where, you know, we're swimming with 200 manta rays. There's another one where I'm in the water with sperm whales. I mean, these are some of the most incredible life experiences that I think so many people on the planet wish they could have. And here it is captured in just incredible beauty. Diva, that picture of you with the sperm whale. <laughs> I mean, there's literally one of those iconic National Geographic videos of yeah. you like floating in. It's know, watching me and I'm watching yeah. it. <laughs> I and, know, and it's yeah. massive. Yeah. I mean, how did you not feel terrified? And I mean, there was fear, right? And I think it was easier to overcome that fear because there was purpose in what we were doing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's one of those things where uh, where you sit back and wow, there's, this is, first of all, it's super fun, it's super entertaining, but it's also super meaningful. It's, yeah. it's a love story for the planet. Uh, and it sort of sneaks its way in there because you forget that that's what, what you're seeing because you're having such a fun adventure. But at the same time, every single sequence is one of the most beautifully filmed tributes to how nature is just awe-inspiring. I mean, it took yes. us almost three years to make this. Absolutely. So uh, It's a real triumph. Know. And yeah. it's streaming now on Disney+. Plus. Oh, yeah. And it's a triumph to watch, absolutely. And I'm almost out of time, but I'm curious, how did you all come together to create this show in the first place? <laughs> I, I don't know why we decided to do these ridiculous things. You know, <laughs> here's here's what really happens is that mm -hmm. Nat Geo is like uh, powerhouse and this really wild, crazy band of explorers, and we get together every year in this place called the uh, Explorer Festival. Yeah, the, and weird things get dreamed up there uh, <laughs> in, in the most incredible ways. All these explorers talking about the most wild things we could possibly do. And I think everybody grew up loving Will Smith as well. And so we were like, well, what, what, let's go, let's go like, to the end of the earth with hmm, our mm -hmm. ultimate hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it all went down. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It was, <laughs> it was, there was a huge team. There was a huge team that yeah. got involved in this. And um, what you see is just the tip of the iceberg. So we're just and, I, and I think what this series does so well is it really seeks to redefine what an explorer is. Like when you think of the word explorer, what comes to mind is not Albert and I, it's not Eric, it's not Christina, it's not Dwayne. And this series really pushes that boundary and breaks down those stereotypes. And it's, as you mentioned, an absolute triumph, beautifully filmed, definitely something you want to tune into with your family, with your friends. You'll feel like you're exploring the world right along with Will Smith and Diva and Albert. We thank you so much to have both of them with us today. Welcome to Earth is only available to watch starting today on Disney Plus. And once again, thankful for them for joining us today. We'll be back with more right after this.